Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another How to Train Your Dragon episode on the... Oh, man, I just heard... Oh, I butchered that. I meant to say School of Dragons on How to Train Your Dragon, even though these two are technically the exact same, because it is in the How to Train Your Dragon world. Anyway, let's get on with the quest from right... from Hiccup right now. Yeah. I guess I'll do my ear. Alright. Let's not do this one, because... Oh, uh, yeah, let's not do this one, because it's a timed one. Alright. Oh man, my music stopped. Okay, I will be right back. Let me just go see what happened to my music. All right, nothing really happened. It was just that the internet was a little slow and the and the um uh it was the music was buffering. All right, what do you have for me, headmaster? Um, uh, I have already done Fireball Frenzy, so I don't need to do that. Oh. Oh. I was supposed to do this quest before I leveled up Plasma Storm. Oops. Um, let's do... Um... Okay. I need your help to get this new lesson ready. It's all about Viking contraptions, so we need to gather inventions to display in the classroom. You're in luck. Ered is visiting the school to learn more about dragons, and I'm sure he'll, he's come across all kinds of Viking inventions on his travels. If you hurry, you can catch him before he heads back to the training grounds. He's on the beach getting some fresh air. Okay. He's always in the training grounds, ever since How to Train Dragon 2 came out. Which was 2014, I believe. Yeah. 2014. Alright. I'm gonna kinda cheat and jump off this cliff. This is going to take like a little time to get down there. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Just a little farther, Plasma Storm. Just a little farther. There we go. Alright, Eric, what do, you, what do you have for us today? Alright, let's see. Um, Ahoy there, Ninja Knight Fury YT. I'm Eret, son of Eret, the finest dragon wrangler alive. Vikings across all the archipelago and beyond and beyond have made so many great inventions over the years. I'd be happy to share a few, uh, a few that I've come across. For example, the Vikings invented the comb. Astrid has a braid, so I'm sure she'll have one of those you can use. You should ask her for a comb so we can show it in the classroom. Okay. That seems simple enough. Can't fly, so I have to take the stairs. Ugh, oh, stairs. My worst enemy. I really don't like stairs. Stairs are the worst. Fire. Alright. Astrid, we need your comb. Where are you? Astrid. You should be over there. Are you over there? Yes, you are over there. Yay. Yay, you're over there. Alright. my comb for the new class? Sure, Vikings have been making combs for years, but this one is special. My great-grandma gave it to me. Oh man, if her great-grandma gave it to her, can I not take it? Because it's special to her. She carved it out of a red deer antler, so it's really strong. Okay. At least it won't break. Ah, uh, she gave it to me. Fine. Comb back. I mean, come back with, to me with the comb. Bring the comb back to the headmaster. Alright. You know, I've played this game so much that I don't think I need the quest arrow, except for like that room, that room quest that we did last episode. That one was really hard, especially for the mystery class stone. It was like the, it was like all over the place because the arrow didn't know where to find it. It was a mystery to it. You did a great job, Ninja Knight 3 YT. I have a lead on another contraption here at the school. Time to lace up your running shoes. We can't forget about. Yeah, we can't forget one of our best inventions, the sailing ship. Vikings are the masters of the sea. Go see Mulch by the Lake to get a ship. Of course, it's a model ship, not a humongous ship, because if it was a humongous ship, they wouldn't be able to put it in a classroom. Because I think, I think I forgot. At least I think I might have forgot. There we go, that's better grammar. Alright, Mulch. 
A ship? Are you crazy? Do you know how big those are? It will never fit into a classroom. Like I said, it has to be a model ship. Oh, I know what he means. He wants a replica of a ship. Hence, a model ship. Our long ships are our pride and joy. They're speedy, stealthy, and can run by sail or manpower. I know Fish Lakes has made a couple replicas. Go see him by the boat to Burke. Alright. The boat to Burke is where, um, we went in either last episode or the episode before that. When we had to get, uh, papers from everyone for the notes. And it's down there. Right there. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but this thing is really fun because it's a geyser. That if you don't get off immediately, it will fly up. And you can actually go underneath this. Um, and, oh man, they, mm, dang it, they made it a, uh, they made it impossible. And Fish Legs is on this side. Um. What? Oh man, I know where Fish Legs is. They told, they moved him. Uh, he's up the stairs. Here, let me just pause it here for a second. I don't want to see you. I don't want you to see me trek all the way across this ocean. All right, I found fish legs. He's up here. Um, let's see. Can you give me the long ship, the model long ship fish legs, please? Just hand me one instead of talking, so that way I can get this quest over with and get to another one. I really don't like finding things. Finding things are extremely challenging, but that's what I love about this game. It just there are challenging parts, and then there are extremely simple parts. All right. Uh, do 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 do. I already clicked on you, fish legs. Come on, there we go. Finally. All right. <clears throat> a longship? Before I give it to you, did you know that a longship is classified by the number of oarsmen on board? And there's only one coxswain who coordinates the power and rhythm of the oarsmen. Fascinating. Right. I don't like boats, fish legs. I like water, but I don't like boats. Both are just hard to control. A great ship at sea is hard to navigate without knowing where you're going. Vikings invented one of the first magnetic compasses that guides you along on a stormy day. Before sailors had compasses, they had to use the sun to see where they were. Mulch has an extra one. Go talk to him. Alright. That's pretty simple. And Mulch is right over here. Yay. I don't... I... For one really odd reason, I have no idea why they put this rock here. There's this, just this giant rock right here. It's ginormous, but why do they put it? It's just weird. Anyway, let's go get this compass. Alright. Um. Come on. Alright, you can't have a ship without a compass, and you can't have Vikings without ships. So this is essential in Genite Fury YT. One magnetic compass, and I have to give all of this to the headmaster. I can't use any of this whatsoever. I'm glad everyone is willing to help me out. Come back to come back to me with fish legs and mulch's items. All right. For some, oh, I've already been playing this game for almost nine minutes now, and it feels like it's only been three. Are you sure you want to give one long ship and one magnetic compass from your backpack? Yes, and it's not a regular long- Ow. Sorry. Sorry. I'm normally- I normally have the alarm noise all the way down. These are perfect for the display, but I feel like something is still missing. We need, to, we need something that means more to the people of Burke. Go talk to Gobber in the hatchery. Alright. Okay. Here we are in the hatchery, and there's Gobber, and there's no baby Thunderfeed, and there is no baby Hobblegrunt. But there is a... I, I don't know what that is, but I know that that one is a Snap Trapper. And I know I'm supposed to be this kind of dragon maniac, but I'm serious, I don't know what this baby one is. That, I think, is a Sword Stealer. Alright. Gobber, what do you have to say? Come on. Actually, no, he's gonna give me something, I think. Yeah, we're getting invention, so he's gonna give me something. 
I'm proud to be a Viking, and I was wondering when you were finally going to get to me. I'm the blacksmith, so of course you'll need to talk to me. My proudest invention was crafting a metal prosthetic foot for Hiccup. His other foot is constantly growing, so I need to make a, him a new prosthetics. I have the first one he ever had, after the Battle of the Red Death. You can have it. Okay, I have Hiccup's old foot. And that's just weird. The next invention that deserves to be on display from my trainee Hic is from my trainee Hiccup. He's over by the Flight Club Training Tower. Unless he's not, and he's right next to the Great Hall in the school. And yes, that is the Great Hall in the school. Well, at least for the school. The Great Hall for Burke is essentially the same thing, so that's why I just call it the Great Hall. Alright. Shush, cat. Stop being loud. You're messing up my video. Alright. Is Hiccup over here? And I've always made the mistake of coming through here at a certain quest and he's not there. So I'm pretty sure that this is the quest. Is he there? No, he's not. He's actually in the flight club. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. I have to go the long way, because I checked. At least it was not the same, at least it's not the longer way, which would have me going around the entire Great Hall instead of going through it. Alright, let's see. This is actually loading a lot faster than the last few, di the, than the last few episodes. Because I remember when it was like, ugh, just load already. And we had to wait for the people to stop, to, uh, to, um, just talk. And now, it's, well, it's not. It's not taking too long. And also, I, I, watch, I recently watched my second video. Uh, I think it was called, oh yeah, A Little Excursion. Episode 2, A Little Excursion. Um, I watched it, and it was a lot less laggy than the first one. And even though I already put the warning at the, at the beginning. We've changed so much recently, everyone's proud of my quirky little inventions. I'm so honored. This thing means the world to me. It's the first tail fin I ever created for Toothless. Um, that is, it's the first one that didn't get destroyed. You can have it. Which means it's gonna be the red one, right? Yep, and technically, he didn't make that one. Gobber did, because, well... Please bring me Hiccup and Gobber's contraptions, alright? Because Hiccup was in a coma for, like, a week. And then... Uh, when he left the house, or handed him um, the new saddle, the new tail fin, and the new foot contraption to help him control Toothless. And that kind of was his new tail fin. So Hiccup saying that he made it is false news. It's a lie. Because Gobber made it. And I have proof because it's in my mind and I have the movie. That's just my cat playing with the toy. If you're wondering. Alright. Going to the headmaster. Do. 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 Boing. 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 Alright. Hello, headmaster. We've brought the Hiccup's old foot and Toothless's old tail. Yes, I will give them to you. Alright. These are the best inventions we have to put on display. They mean so much to us. Thank you for gathering all these items, Ingenite Tree YT. You did well. Yay. No. No! I just realized I didn't put the T right here. It's Ninja Nai Fury, not Ninja Knight Fury. Oh, wow. All right. 10 gold, 10, 100 XP, 150 Dragon XP, and 90 UDT points. Also, in my lap, in a few of my last videos, I got 10, I got 100 to be 10, and 200 to be 20, and it's just really weird. I don't know what it was going on in my brain that day. All right, I'm gonna level up now. I think so. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. All right. Ow. Okay, that wasn't as loud. Oh yeah, that's because I turned down my own sound. Oh man, you guys probably thought that was really loud. All right. Sorry for that. All right, let's see. No Heather quest. Okay. Heather has the best quests because she starts the lab things, I think. Well, most of the time anyway. And she allows you Oh. 
pop quiz, fishing, or learn about the food chain. Um, let's do a pop quiz, they're shorter. Hey, Vintage Knight Fury YT, I hope you've been keeping up with your fishing. It's time for your first pop quiz. Have you used up all your bait yet? And you need to buy some more. I think Flagman taught you how to use a store, so this should be a breeze. I'll give you a few coins. Click on the store and purchase the minnow. Okay. In other words, it's going to cover the cost of the minnow. Alright. He gave me ten. Alright, I'm guessing that's how many one minnow is. I'm just not sure because I haven't been to the bait store in like three weeks. Oh, and by the way, this is a 100% uh, walkthrough because I haven't been playing this without you guys watching it. You, are, you guys are watching it at the times that I am playing it. So I'm not skipping ahead or anything. I'm just playing it as... Oh, it's 12 coins. He get... He's... Oh! That is so inconsiderate of him. He gave me 10. And it's 12, so he's m expecting me to buy with two. Fine. Uh, there we go. Purchase complete. Alright, what? Okay, come on, Mel, just say something, please. Quickly. <sighs> Great job, Viking. You've got your head on straight. Different types of beta good are good at catching different types of fish. You should try it out and see what you can reel in. Alright. Wait, that was the pop quiz. Okay. Let's use that minnow. I just want to see what I'm going to catch. It's probably going to be a herring or something. Oh, come on, I can't... I have to fish from right here and not right here. That is... I'll fish from right here. Because that's what I want to do. I don't want to fish from the land. One minnow. Why out this way? I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be a herring. I'm really sure. Oh, brown trout? Dang it. I guess I was wrong. Any of you who thought brown trout, kudos to you. Because, well, because it's what it is. Sometimes you can get extremely lucky and they won't thrash around at all. You can just reel them in with just one push. The space bar or the reel button, and it's awesome. And sometimes you don't even have to let go. Ooh, brown trout is mainly a freshwater fish, but can sometimes live in salt water. Okay. Alright, let's stop fishing. Because that's all I wanted to do. And you need more energy. For some reason, she likes being flown on, and when I don't fly on her, sometimes it'll dra it'll drain her happiness. But also, when she walk when she's just walking around, it can up her happiness. But it also drains her energy. All right. Um... Ah! Help me, plasma storm! I'm drowning. Alrighty. I thought we could take a quest from in here. Um, and I kind of don't want to do one from Felgma, uh, Flagma, because, uh, I don't want to do one from, from Flagma, because she either always gives, ooh, wait, the gathering and comp, oh, no, this is going to have me do stuff from the farm, yeah, I think I might just do farm stuff off camera and not on camera, because that's a lot more not boring, uh, you know, that's a timed quest for Halloween only, my timer almost fell. Um, let's see. Warthog down there always has a quest, and it's always a scientific method. And it allows you to get five uh, XP of everything and five gold as well. Um, so, um,. How's your day been going? I'll leave a poll up in the video so you can answer, because I like polls. I really do. I just hope in every video uh, that I watch there's one. 
but sometimes when I check, there isn't even an eye card. <laughs> and it's just, I just really love poles. Alright, um, where am I going again? I was exiting to find a new quest. I don't want to do one from the headmaster. I can't do one. I'm getting really low on options. Because everything is just the same. You know what? Let's try this. Store. I'm not going to tell you what guys that I'm doing, yet. Alright, let's do this. Master, what have you got for us today? Johan's Icy Problem. Find Johan at Burke. Hello there, Ninja Knight for your YT. Have you seen our favorite trader, Johan, everywhere? I'm expecting him for a shipment of parchment, and his ship hasn't arrived. To be frank, I'm a little worried. Would you look for him? You might find his boat in the waters around the school, or Burke. Okay. His ship is in the school. It's down there. It's the ship. No, that's not Johan's ship. If it was, it would be coming here periodically. And Johan is up there, actually. He's up there. Um, but for this specific quest, we need to go to Burke. Did you see that? That stone rising? That was the guys are pushing it up. And for some reason, whenever a student lands on it, it's always timed perfectly. always timed perfectly the geyser is to shoot you back up it's a really fun elevator all right Alright, um, arrow says to go this way. Okay. Um, um, Johan, I think your ship exploded in ice. Alright, what happened, Johan? Oh, my poor magnificent ship, my beautiful vessel, broken and shattered before my eyes. My very eyes. What happened, you ask? I was caught unawares on my way from Burke to the School of Dragons, when inside my ship suddenly exploded in a wave of ice. Will you help me figure out what happened? Jump on the on the broken shards of my ship. Perhaps you'll find out what caused the ice to appear from nowhere. Alright, it's probably a little baby dragon. I'm drowning right now. You see that? My head is underwater. Water level is right here. Is that a baby dragon, Ninja Knight Fury? Ah, I understand. I acquired something that I believe was the Orb of Frozen Futures. A mystical treasure that you can use to see the future. I see now that it was a dragon egg. Ninja Knight Fury YT, let's... I know nothing about dragons. Will you help me out? Lead the baby dragon to Hiccup. I w it will follow you as you walk to Hiccup at Burke. Do not move too quickly and make sure you keep the dragon close to you. Why? You said you know nothing about dragons. And you're telling me that it's gonna follow me? The thing about baby dragons is that they're quick enough to where you can run and be in the circle. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna skip walking up the stairs because that's the most tedious part of the entire thing, so... Alright, we're here at Hiccups, and we brought the baby dragon. 
Wow, what an amazing fella. Hey there, little guy. I've never seen a dragon like this before. He looks a bit like a gronkle, but clearly he's a new species. He looks like a gronkle made of icicles. Maybe he could be called a gronksicle. Well, what an interesting little guy. I can't wait to learn more about him. Will you tell Moltres what's going on? Maybe he can help Trader Johan get back on his feet. Alright. I know a little secret way back down. It's kind of awesome. And it's also really time consuming to get back up. And that's the problem. Whee! And I'm really glad you cannot break a bone in this game. If you did, that'd be really bad. Because then you'd have to wait like a month for your bone could be healed. Unless you broke every single bone in your body. There we go, we're down next to Mulch, and what if- you, okay. Nah, I didn't want to click on myself. Ah. Alright. Come on. I'm very impatient sometimes. I see, Trader Johan is a good friend to the clan. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm sure you and Hiccup uh, will figure out the situation with the baby dragon. You always do. Yay. Alright. Um, uh, don't see that, it's my mom's- Oh, great. <sighs> Plasma storm? Where, where are we? It's so cold out here. Oh, we're not on Ice Storm Island, I can tell you that. Ow, why did you just teleport on top of me? <sighs> okay, um, let's figure out this in- the next step. Wait, what's that? Wait a second. What's that? Oh, good. I'm good, 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 good. I never left Burke. I just glitched out of nowhere and just popped up here. It was really weird. Uh. I, did, I tried looking around before and I couldn't find this. I li this literally was not here. It was a really weird glitch. Anyway. Um. Alrighty, everybody, that is going to have to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. It does amazing things for this channel. Um, uh, please leave a like in this video if you, d if you did enjoy it. And please, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video on next Saturday. Bye.